Hey, Chris from Codify Academy here. In this video, we're going to look at the new release of Bootstrap. We're at number four now. It's going to be very similar to Bootstrap 3. And if it's your first time hearing about Bootstrap, it's just a bunch of CSS and JavaScript that we're going to include into any project we want. And this will help us create websites faster. All right, so here we are at getbootstrap.com. And if you want to change versions, you can go here and open this drop down menu and change versions. But we're just going to go to get started. And once we're there, we're going to see that they actually created this new thing called starter template down here for us. So let's go ahead and copy this. So I'm going to make a copy of my template here and rename it. Then I'm going to open that up in Atom. I'm going to paste that starter template code into my index.html file. Then I'm going to open it up in Google Chrome and see how it looks. Looks pretty good. And then we have another way that we can actually include it. And we're going to download the compiled CSS and JavaScript. We're going to unzip that and we're going to put that into our Codify folder. Okay, and we can see that we have the CSS and JavaScript folders here. Okay, so make a copy of the bootstrap.min.css file and paste it into your CSS folder in the Bootstrap template. We're going to do the same for the bootstrap.min.js file. Go ahead and make a copy of that. And then we actually need to create a new folder called JS and then paste it in there. Once we have those files included, we can go update our file paths. So let's get rid of all that extra stuff. And we just need to go into the CSS folder and find bootstrap.min.css. And then for our JavaScript, we need to update this to JS forward slash bootstrap.min.js. Now, if we go and refresh in the browser, it's going to look the same. Nothing's changed. We just actually included the files instead of reaching out to someone else's server. All right, so we have Bootstrap working. We can now look at some of the elements inside of Bootstrap. All right, the first thing we have, obviously the most important is our grid system. We have a video for this, but this is where you'll find that information. It's pretty much the same as Bootstrap 3, only this time we no longer need to use XS and we have an XL size. When you click on something on the left, it'll actually give you some additional options on the right usually, and you can click through those. So I encourage you to spend some time checking out the new layout. You know, a lot of it is just code examples, honestly. So you can just copy and paste and see how it works in your browser. It's pretty sweet. So it's really just plug and play just like Bootstrap 3 was. Something else that's noticeably different is they did not split up the CSS and JavaScript. Everything that's really, really useful is inside of components. You also have utilities, which are going to be some helpful classes like border and position and images, stuff like that. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is migration. So this is very common in programming since a lot of versions tend to happen with any given program. So let's say you have a project that's done in Bootstrap 3 and you want to upgrade it to Bootstrap 4. So all you need to do is include the new CSS and JavaScript for Bootstrap 4. And then you'll have to come here and figure out, has anything actually changed that matters to you? So for instance, let's say you have images in your project. So we can go to the images section here in the migration. And then let's say some of your images have image rounded on it. You would have to go through and after you updated the CSS for Bootstrap, you would have to go through and change all of your image rounded to just a class of rounded. And same for image circle. If you had a class of image circle on any element, you would have to go through and change it to now be a class equals rounded dash circle. And then you can just go through and read what's included, what's changed. Sometimes they remove things. Sometimes they'll tell you how to actually change it. Sometimes they outright just get rid of stuff, but that's okay. You can always find that CSS out there somewhere. Cool. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that helps you get into Bootstrap 4. It's really, really fun. Just get in there. Start copying some of their code, go and inspect those elements, look at the CSS, and then start building some websites using Bootstrap 4. 